Russian President Vladimir Putin has made an unexpected trip to Crimea to mark the ninth anniversary of its, of its annexation. Now, that's according to Russian state media. In this footage released on Telegram by the Russian-appointed governor, Putin can be seen visiting a school in the port city of Sevastopol, which is the largest city in Crimea. Russia seized the peninsula from Ukraine in 2014, eight years before it launched its invasion of mainland Ukraine. Kyiv has vowed to retake Crimea in the fight against the Russian invasion. We can get more from DW correspondent Jennifer Palka, who's in our studios in Riga. Jennifer, hi. Putin's visit to Crimea, we have to say, comes a day after the International Criminal Court in The Hague issued an arrest warrant for him over alleged war crimes in Ukraine. What kind of sign do you think Putin is sending with this trip to Crimea? Well, Kremlin spokesperson Dmitry Peskov rejected the warrant that was issued yesterday by the ICC. He stated that Russia would never accept this warrant because it has no legal grounds and is simply unacceptable. Putin today, as you mentioned before, made a surprise visit to Sevastopol, to Crimea, to celebrate the ninth anniversary of Crimea being back, into, back to Russia. But according to an Orthodox priest, really no one thought that Vladimir Putin would make an in-person appearance. Everything was set up for a video conference and then suddenly the president himself emerged from a vehicle that he drove to Sevastopol. And of course the Orthodox priest and the people that gathered were pleasantly surprised because the president waved at them but gave no political statement. He was shown an art school and a center for children. But as I said before that the Russia's President Vladimir Putin made no political nor any statement at all. And this visit can be mm. still viewed as a sign towards the West and also towards Russia that everything is normal and that no one is faced by the warrant against Vladimir Putin. DW's uh, Jennifer Palka in Riga there. Jennifer, thanks.